Hey, good morning. My name is Ashley. This is Royal Domain Authority. Um, how are y'all doing on today? How are y'all doing this morning? Listen, you all, it's a little early. I usually don't do videos this early, but I am led to do a video. Listen, excuse the way I look. I really don't care too much today. Of course, I work from home, so that kind of explains it. But listen, you all, I just want to come and tell a dream that I had early, early, early this morning. And, um, yeah. So in this dream, you all, I remember standing like, it was like these apartments and it was like upstairs apartments. You know how you have apartments where they're upstairs and then they're downstairs. And I remember standing outside of these apartments where I was like in the apartment complex, but I was standing like outside and the people who live in the apartments were sitting on their like balcony sitting outside. So they was facing us and we were facing them. And I remember I was with a girl in this dream and then the girl in the dream that I was with said something about another girl that was sitting up on her, you know, her apartment steps on the balcony. And when my friend said, and what my friend said about the girl, I forgot what it was, but it wasn't anything that was good. It wasn't complimentary. It was like a mean girl. It was like my friend down talked the girl. I forgot exactly what the girl had, what she said, the girl who was with me. But the girl who she had said something about was sitting on her porch. She was smoking a cigarette. Her and a few other people, I think it was like some guys that she was sitting with. And... When my friend had said this mean thing about the girl, I'm looking at the girl like her hair is so pretty. Like all I could just see on her was her beautiful hair. It was like slit back really pretty in a ponytail and her ponytail was very long and it was curly. And I was just in awe at her hair because it looked natural. Like I'm somebody who loves hair. I love hairstyles. I'm really a fashionista at heart. I'm like, I love beauty basically so i'm looking at her hair and i'm like man her hair is so pretty and so i ended up saying it out loud like her hair is so pretty and the girl she ended up seeing me move my lips so i guess she thought i was talking about her so she came down the steps to confirm to confront me and the girl that i was with and i was like listen i ain't say nothing about you the only thing that i said that your hair was pretty but she ended up confronting the other girl that was with me in the dream and when she confronted the other girl in the dream I, I i woke up and the first thing that i thought about when i woke up was like i gotta be careful about who i'm around like who, who i put myself in you know proximity with or who i keep company with like that's what i thought about when i woke up like oh i gotta pay attention to who i keep company with because they would get me in trouble. Like, I ain't even do nothing wrong. And this girl's about to get me jammed up, you all, in the dream. Like, we was about to be out there fighting, basically. You know what I'm talking about? Because, you know, ain't, ain't no everybody finna sit up there and let you talk about them. When they know that you talking about them, you know? And I was like, oh, Lord. So, the dream ended up ending. And when the dream ended, I woke up. And the first thought that I had when I woke up was... I got to be mindful and I got to be careful of the company that I keep. And when I woke up, I got ready for work or whatever like that. But I ended up going on Facebook. And when I went on Facebook, Apostle Sharon, because I'm Facebook friends, um, I, I'm Facebook friends with Apostle Sharon, um, Prophetess Ebony's niece. And when I woke up, she had wrote a post, a Facebook post about the same exact thing that I felt in what I felt in my spirit in the dream. And I was like, my God, you know how, when you know that God is trying to tell you something, like God is trying to tell us something y'all. And we have to be mindful of the Holy spirit. We have to be mindful of what the Holy spirit is speaking, what God is, you know, telling us. Because if we don't, we're going to get ourselves out of position. We're going to get ourselves hemmed up, jammed up, and in trouble when that wasn't even the goal for real. So, I don't know who this message is for, you know, but 
I just come to tell you all on today, be mindful of the company that you keep. Be mindful of the people who you have in your circle, because if they have a potty mouth, if they're using their mouth to, to, to talk about people, instead of building them up, edifying them, encouraging them in the Lord, you got to let them know, hey, this ain't what we're about to do, or you got to just be done with those type of people. See, in the dream, I really didn't have time to correct the person who was with me because the dream ended so fast, right? But we have to correct those in our circle when we know that they're doing wrong. We have to hold people accountable. And God had gave me this word like two weeks ago about releasing a word about holding yourself accountable and holding others accountable. And what does that look like? And this is a prime example, right? of holding people accountable, holding yourself accountable because I wasn't finna go down for her, period. I had to let that girl know, listen, baby, I ain't even say nothing about you. I was really complimenting your hair. Yes, your attitude was ugly. Now, in the dream, the girl's attitude was ugly. Like, like her whole demeanor was ugly, but I wasn't even focused on that. You know, sometimes we got to be able to focus on stuff. You know, focus. Focus on what God tells us to focus on. Because if we give place to the enemy, then we out of position. For real. We're open up, opening up a door for the enemy to move and have legal right to do whatever he want to do. So be mindful of the company you keep. If they're not building up, if you're not building up people, you need to go ahead and start practicing that. You know, compliment people. Like in the dream, I complimented that girl and then told her, your hair is beautiful. Like, her hair was so pretty. That was the only nice thing that was on her. I'm not even going to lie you all. But instead of tearing her down with my mouth, I built her up. The tongue is a powerful thing. Speak life instead of death, right? That's all I had to say. Maybe I could explain the dream a little better, but I'm getting, you know, I, I'm working on that. You know, my dreams be kind of crazy. I be trying to compartmentalize each and everything in my head. And it really, a lot of stuff, when you have prophetic dreams like that, a lot of stuff don't make sense until you actually speak it out. When you're putting it on paper, it sounds good when you're writing it down, but it really don't really make a whole lot of sense until you actually speak it out. So I hope that I did good and did well or that you guys could understand the moral of the story, basically, when it comes to that dream. Be careful of the company you keep. Hold yourself and others accountable. Listen, I love you all. I may come back with another video on today. Who knows? But I love y'all. Have a good day on this good Thursday. Y'all already know. That's on period. And my name again is Ashley. This is Royal Dominion Authority. Um, y'all be good. Be good. If you ain't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on. I love y'all.